Shame on you, Brussels. EU blocks life-saving cancer drug from UK under post-Brexit rules. Life-saving cancer drug will be refused to patients living in parts of the UK as a result of the post-Brexit red tape imposed by Brussels and a worrying sign of things to come. The UK's Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, MHRA, last week approved osimertinib, brand name Tegriso, for patients with early-stage lung cancer, in line with a worldwide plan to fast-track promising drugs. This treatment can improve survival rates by up to 75%, but because it has not been greenlit by the European Medicines Agency, EMA, patients living in Northern Ireland are not eligible for it. The issue, which concerns the terms of the Northern Ireland Protocol, under which the region remains bound to certain EU rules and regulations, was described by a government insider to the Times as relationship. Significant attention because it has the potential to increase. Tension in the union members. Another added, the people of Northern Ireland must have access to the full range of medicines like anyone else in the rest of the UK. Solutions to such challenges need to be found urgently. We have called on the EU to demonstrate the flexibility and pragmatism needed to achieve lasting solutions. Margaret Carr, Cancer Research UK's Director of Public Affairs for Northern Ireland, warns, regulatory differences between GB and NI will likely affect the approval of some new cancer drugs of the future. The EU has yet to complete its own review of osimertinib, meaning the drug cannot yet be prescribed within the bloc or within Northern Ireland under current arrangements. And denied what our UK citizens can use, the illegality of the protocol is clear for all to see. Not only is our equal citizenship being dumped, but the health of our cancer patients is at stake. Tegriso is manufactured by AstraZeneca, the pharmaceutical company that has been sued by the EU for allegedly not supplying the bloc with the agreed number of doses of the coronavirus vaccine. Tom Keithroach, President, AstraZeneca UK, added, The Orbis project is a powerful example of how collaboration between regulators around the world can accelerate the approval of projects. It is a life-changing treatment, and we are delighted that osimertinib is the first drug to undergo this innovative review with the MHRA. It is fantastic news that NHS patients in the UK with this specific type of early-stage lung cancer will have early access to this drug, which can significantly improve their chances of disease-free survival. There. We will continue our work to ensure access for patients in developed countries as soon as possible. MHRA Chief Executive, Dr. June Rain CBE, said Project Orbis offers an opportunity to ensure patients have earlier access to promising, life-saving cancer treatments.